Hey everyone, it's Amy. It is time to make up for the loss of last week. Today, I'm going to talk to you about, drum roll, da -da 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 -da. cartoon crushes. Don't give me that face because I'm sure that when you were a kid, you suddenly had this fuzzy feeling every time you see your favorite cartoon character, or should I say precisely, your cartoon crush. So I'm gonna give you guys 10 of my cartoon crushes, five that are now and five that are before. I mean, I still love cartoons, so I still love cartoon characters that are so handsome even though they don't exactly exist. Oh well, <laughs> let's get started. And just so you know, some characters might shock you a bit, but I was just a kid, so I didn't know what attractiveness was. <coughs> okay, now let's get started. Number one, Bugs Bunny. I really have no idea why I had a crush on him, but I really liked Bugs Bunny ever since um, I started watching the Looney Tunes. And actually, the Looney Tunes was my first Looney cartoon show to watch, so... It was nice. Number two, Huey from Quack Pack, a show from Disney Channel. I think the reason that I had a crush on him was pretty much because of his, because he was flirtatious, and I guess that's why I was so attracted to him, but again, I was just a kid, so even though it was kind of weird to fall in love with the duck. <laughs> oh well. Number three. Nigel Uno, also known as number one from Kids Next Door. And you guys remember that Kids Next Door was like my favorite Cartoon Network TV show. And Nigel was pretty much my Cartoon crush. Maybe because of the British accent, if I can remember correctly, but I think it was a British accent. I mean, even though he was bald, but hey. <laughs> number four, Kid Potowski from Disney XD. I really, really, really had no idea why I had a crush on him. I mean, while looking back at it, I was just like, what do I see in him again? But I really have no idea. Maybe he was like taking risks and I thought that it was cool or something. But yeah, kick the Dowski. Number five, please calm down. Again, I was just a kid. Um, Ed. From Ed and Eddie. Even though I, it was out of Eddie or Double D or any other boy characters in Ed and Eddie, but I had to choose Ed. I really had no idea, even though he is completely stupid. But again, I was like, I don't know, four years old at that time? So ugh, I didn't know what a crush is. So that was past that. Okay, that was crushes that I had before now here is now number six marco diaz from star vs the forces of evil i think i really liked his social awkwardness well i wouldn't say social awkwardness but basically how he's nervous around jackie lynn thomas because i think that most of the shows that i watch is always the girl who is nervous around the guy not that i have a problem with it but it's see it's kind of cute that it's like vice versa. So that's why I like Marco Diaz. I'm sure there's a lot of Marco Diaz lovers out there, so. Number seven, Danny Phantom. And of course, you would agree. Even though Danny Phantom is no longer airing, I mean, I still watch it in my iPad, and I was just like, Danny is so cute! And that I really ship Danny and Sam and their relationship is so cute, so that's why it's Danny Phantom. Number eight, Beast Boy. Not from Teen Titans Go, but the original Teen Titans. <laughs> I don't know. It, I think it's pretty much the same thing as Marco Diaz being awkward around a girl. I think I really like how he tried to ask Tara on a date, even though shortly after he got portrayed by her. But I mean, how did he make the mirror, the heart-shaped mirror? It's kind of cute, so maybe that's why I had a. Well, I still have a crush on Beast Boy because I still watch Teen Titans on my iPad, so, yeah. Number nine, Jake Long from the American Dragon. And of course, people would agree, but I think the reason I had a crush on him was, again, like Marco Diaz and Beast Boy being nervous around uh, a girl. 
even though it's supposed to be mostly vice versa, but I think it's kind of cute. And that it's super duper cool that he turns into a Chinese dragon. So that's why I still like Jiklon. Again, watch it on my iPad. And last, certainly not least, Pepe Le Pew. And of course, it was obvious because I am completely obsessed with him. You saw my other video with the guide to l'amour. And of course, in my obsessions video in hashtag positivity. So, you know, sometimes having cartoon crushes is not that bad. It's actually very funny. I mean, even though pe some people will be like, um, but that cartoon character doesn't exist. Uh, well, just, who cares? He's cute. So. Fictional characters mm, is actually <laughs> kind of funny and exciting. So if you have cartoon crushes and you don't know any other people who has cartoon crushes, don't worry, you're you are not alone. You are not alone. And of course, I have a lot of cartoon crushes on movies and comics. So it won't be the last time you see my cartoon crush video. So thumbs up if any of these characters I mentioned is also your cartoon crush or used to be. Um, thumbs up if having cartoon crushes are super duper cool. And if there's any other cartoon crushes that I haven't mentioned, put the comments down below. And subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. See you guys, bye.